Okay, I am making a quick trip. Well, not quick trip, I just a run to my friend's house just to hang out for the night. And we are going to see how it does on some back roads. I've taken this road twice, and actually twice a zero intervention drive. So we'll see if this can do it as well. Uh, the no good caveat though, or small caveat, looks like uh, we see on the road here. I got pulled over. Same issue happened right here, where it lost GPS signal. So what I'm gonna have to do, um, I'm just gonna drive all the way up past the interstate because it wants to take the interstate to get there. And I'm gonna take the back way, which is more fun if you're driving yourself and um, more technical and for the car. Turn right to take the interstate 26 west right toward Hendersonville. I'm actually gonna bypass that, like I said. Now turn right to take the interstate 26 west ramp. It still doesn't actually turn the blinker on when you're going on to right here. Those type of things I hope will be mostly resolved at version 9. I know they're working hard in the background, so hopefully we'll see those improvements. But here's what we'll do um, right here. So this speed limit's 45 all the way through here, though it seems kind of fast to be honest. And so I don't really like doing the offset on this section right here until we're um, up, up ahead at least. Just because there's there's more traffic around here, even though 45 is fine. Interesting. I'm not sure why it decided to swerve right there. I think I was trying to. I thought I was going to avoid something because it does do that. If something's on the side of the road, it will swerve around it. Like if I was going around the cyclist right there, um, it would. Um, it would move out and around the cyclist. So here's an interesting area. It's a yield sign and the stop sign on the left. Technically, I believe the way I'm going is the yield only, so it doesn't have to stop. It can keep on going, so I'm gonna, it will stop as if it's a stop sign, and I push it through with the accelerator to go through, but it doesn't have any problem. Right here, it goes up to 40 mile an hour when it shouldn't, when it's getting to a 20. It changes down to 25 right here, right before the stop, uh, before the speed limit sign, unfortunately. For some reason, it turns the blinker on right here. I'm not sure why, but this guy's like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I noticed that it, it's, around where I live, obviously, there's a lot of curves here in the mountains. And so, for whatever reason, if the road continues going straight for a hewing, um, as it occurs around, it will turn the blinker on if the curve is strong, is um, sharp enough for whatever reason. Like it doesn't right here, but back there it does. So I'm gonna turn this down to 20, just because the cars in the, these parking lots stick out a little bit. And if you can tell, the car is going over the yellow line a little bit. Left onto US Highway 176. And so it, it stays away from those cars, which is exactly what I want. Um, I had it go through once when there's a lot of traffic, and so it tried to get a little bit too close onto the other cars. See right here, it's turning on the blinker for some reason. <laughs> Does it make sense to turn the blinker on because this is a continuous road? And let's make sure this guy doesn't pull out. So I'm pressing the accelerator just a little bit, make it go a little bit faster through there. Uh, I had the speed limit set to 20 instead of 25. Um, so now we're up to 40 here. Um, they semi-recently in the last few months lowered the speed limit. It used to be, uh, so it is 35 right here. And as we get up here, it used to be 55. And they've lowered it down to, I think it's 45 now. And so the car still thinks it's 55 and by GPS uh, coordinates and thus tries to speed a lot in here. So I have to manually turn down the speed limit. Yeah, here's the 45 sign. Let's see if it reads it. Yep, it goes up to 50 now. 
I'm still debating whether or not they are actively changing these things in real time without having to do updates. It might be background navigation updates that I don't really, uh, we don't see it right here. It goes back up to 55 when it shouldn't. Um, but so that's not fixed yet. Those are the type of issues I'm looking at that need to be fixed. You can't have it going 15 over the speed limit uh, on a back road. You will get pulled over. This road is monitored um, by police as you saw early in the video. Um, I don't see them often, but it does happen and you will get caught. It's not something I want to do. But going through here is a fun road, just to, it's pretty curvy, so. In one mile, go right onto West Highway 176. What it does is it speeds up and slows down quite a bit. I wish it would do more of an average speed. When it knows up ahead there's another curve coming, I wish it would just not speed up to 50 again. Kind of just stay below it. So it's not going up and down a lot. Like here, it's going way too slow around this corner for me. I'm going to press the accelerator and make it go a little bit faster. And what it's going to do is it's going to slow down too aggressively to go around this corner. It's actually making me sick. Um, it's got a rubber band effect. What I'm probably going to do and the curves that are coming up down the road I'm uh, going to change it down to 45 mile an hour I think the speed limit's actually changed to now 40 miles an hour um, or 35 even they've lowered the speed limit on this road it used to be like ridiculously fast for the type of road it was and I'm sure someone got in a wreck and they had to change it or someone complained but um, uh, see it went back up to 60 again is not what we want and right here it's a 40 mile an hour road so we're gonna go down to 40 right here and see it automatically up to back to 45 and see it turned the blinker on again because it it based on navigation I think it's when it not a road it connects to it navigation will um, make it think like it's having to turn onto that road when it's really just a continuous straight So this band will keep us at a more reasonable speed instead of going up to 45 and back down to 30. For me, I would probably go in 40, um, a very fun pace up and around these curves. But I think for the comfort of passengers, I don't think uh, the full cell driving is ever going to do that. It'll probably go about this speed right here, which is um, obviously slower than the speed limit, and but comfortable. Might go about five mile an hour faster, I think we could go, to be comfortable for passengers. So this corner right here is kind of tricky. There's no line around this corner. line is completely worn off the road essentially and then you can see it, it makes it just fine I'm gonna see what it does right up here there's this car coming. I think it's going to pass before I get here, though. Okay. Let's see if it stops. It should keep... No, it's going to go. Yeah, I'm going to push it. See, these are the type of things that get, get me a little bit hesitant. Um, it doesn't go aggressively enough on sections like that. I know it can see the car up ahead. Like, there's no question, they can see that car, but it decides, well, I'm just gonna creep out in front of it, maybe it'll slow down. Um, that's not good enough for a human driver, um, especially not me. And, so, this is, it's still, as you can see, this is a normal, this would be navigating autopilot like this. It should be, the on-ramp was um, uh, full self-driving, 
and so it doesn't do very well changing lanes very quickly in full self-driving. Um, sometimes it does, actually, well, sometimes it does do it quick. Other times it's just slow. It doesn't want to do it at all. Like, you can see the line moving back and forth. And it just doesn't want to do it. Um, I'm going to cancel this real quick. And we want to get off right here. I don't know why. Um, the navigate's incorrectly to my friend's house. But we'll stop the video right there, assuming it can make it off this. One thing I don't like is just I like keeping my efficiency. And so all. I'm going to pre-slow it down right here uh, to get off the, fr the freeway. Because it will jam on the brakes. This is something it doesn't do well. Maybe this truck will help us. Um, it doesn't brake quick and uh, it doesn't regen soon enough it decides I'm just gonna go fast all the way around this corner and then hard brake at the very end um, and so this truck helps a little bit and he goes at it um, at a much more reasonable speed um, than the car would uh, we'll see though uh, how it handles the stop sign here Go, don't go, don't go. Please don't go. That was my fault. I actually pulled the wheel too much. Um, so I want to count that as an intermixion. But yeah, the, that was a zero intermixion drive. Uh, it was just a straight straight line all the way to my friend's house here. So I'm not going to even show that one for their privacy too. Um, it's, it's not going to fail. Um, so if you have any questions about this drive, just feel free to let me know. Um, always glad to answer questions out in the comments below. And we'll be glad to see you on the next video.